Well, where do I start? I mean, she's everything you need a teacher to be. She's kind, she's loving, she's giving. Like, and she's just a great teacher in general. She, she teaches what needs to be taught and nothing more. Ms. Bono cares about all of us. And, and there's not one person that's left out that she does not care about. Mr. Bono teaches differently than the other teachers. She's more hands-on and she pays attention to how our students react so she can adjust to them and, and make it easier for them to learn. Mr. Bono is very helpful with other students. She should really be the teacher of the year. She will give you a better future in your life. Do we do easy in this classroom? No. No, no we're trying to grow our brains. We want that challenge. So let's persevere and not give up that first time, but really use what we know to try and work together in solving these problems. Remember to reason abstractly. Don't just think at a minimal level. Our brains don't work at minimal power, do they? What power do they work at? Maximum, high up there. So reason abstractly. Think, can I put this piece of information into something, my filing cabinet in my brain, or do I need to create a new filing drawer? Because this is brand new information that I'm working with. It's important in my lessons and in my teaching that I make sure my students are connecting not only to the skills that they're learning, but to the world around them. Their application of what we're learning in class to be used later on in various situations and for them to see the purpose behind all that we do is my goal. <laughs> Logan and um, Jaylin, if you guys want to be annotating or taking notes, are you the reader? Yeah, perfect. So let me see what you guys get in a few minutes when you're done with the story. I think collaboration is so important for my students because I'm preparing them for the next step in their journey. And when we work together to problem solve, to find the purpose behind our learning, and then apply it in situations beyond the classroom is very critical and so incredible to watch my students succeed at. And when my students are successful, I'm successful. It's my job and responsibility to make sure my students are ready for their next step. When I teach a concept that's really tough and I see my students grasping it and taking the ownership of their learning, there's no greater feeling. I really like that you were able to remember to keep your dividend and then flip the reciprocal by the reciprocal the divisor. Awesome. What did you get for your product? Um, three over 20. Wonderful. Keep working. I really like to see that work happening. Nice job. Why not? I teach because I want to give back. I have been given so much and now get to share that with others. Teaching is not a job. It's what I was designed to do. And I can't think of anything else I'd rather do.